Alright, okay, so I screwed this up the first time, so I'm going to try this video again. I'm really excited about this video. That's why I just rushed right in. I didn't know what I was doing. I screwed it up, so now I'm doing it again. Uh, sometimes it's like that. Alright, so what this is, this is clipboard history. Alright, I'm lazy. Alright, you got to understand one thing about me. I am lazy. I like to do things very fast. Alright, so this is an example. You know, this is my notepad I spoke about in the other video. These are three different links that I mean. It's a corporate algorithm. You see, I got Hood X and I got IFO. All right, so I'm not gonna put check out, check out. I'm gonna put something different for each one. I'm gonna put, um, let's try, sign up, sign up for my website. Tell me what you think. Check out my website. Tell me what you think. Have you signed up for my website? Okay, so we got three different ones. So all right, so I'm gonna copy this. I just hit Control C to copy. I mean, I could right click and, co and click copy, but I'm just going to hit Control C. And then I'm going to Control C this one, and I'm going to Control C this one. So I got all three of those copied. All right. So if I go to here, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's close that. If you go here to the clipboard history, this is. This is awesome. All right. Now, you don't want to use the first one. What I learned is that you got to go into reviews. No, support. I'm sorry. Support. And then copy this right here. Because this is clipboard history part two. You don't want part one. You want part two. Clipboard history part two. Part two right here. So, you see, I already added it to my Chrome. A lot of people don't know you can add these apps like this to your Chrome. Like, for example, this is the eBay app. Or it's really a plug-in. It's really called a plug-in. It's not really an app. It's an eBay. This is my Amazon. For some reason, this one isn't, isn't been working. But I'm going to go check that up later. But this is the one we're working with, which is the book. I mean, the clipboard history. So as you can see, I just copied all, all of these. You see, these are the ones I just copied recently. You see, I'm going to unfavorite these. Let's see. I don't want these to be my favorite anymore. I want the new ones to be my favorite. So I'm going to unfavorite those. And I'm going to actually favorite... See, uncheck those. Let's see, sign up for my website. That's the IFO. This is the corporate algorithm. Have you sign up for my website? And check out my website, which is the Hood X. Can you see that? So we got three different ones. Now what I'm gonna do is favorite these. Favorite that one, favorite that one, and favorite that. Now I know I just unfavored that, but <laughs> work with me. I'm trying to figure this out. Alright. So Sign up for my website, have you signed up for my website, and check out my website. So check out is HoodX, have you signed up, is Corporate Algorithm, sign up is IFO, all right? So what does this all mean, Bill? Because what this does, see how they're, they're teaching you in here, the overview, you, you favor the ones you want. So when I go over to here, to his page, right? Like, you know, I got my regulars, my bookmarks here, so I jump from page to page. So if I go to, uh, say I go to Tony's page, and I want Tony... I don't want Tony to sign up for uh, for corporate algorithm. I want him to sign up for um, IFO. So we go right here, sign up for my site. Bam. And see, IFO link pops right up. Now, something about this, you got to hit the space bar or something like that. And then it'll do it. If you just go right to post, it won't recognize it. If I just click paste that in there and go to post, it won't recognize it. When I hit the space bar, for some reason, it doubles. It makes two of them. I mean, you can post it like that. Or if you want to be neat, you can go back and delete the actual one, you know, and then you click post and bam, right there on this page. See, now that's done. Now I can go to another page. Let's say on, um, let's say on, on uh, this guy's page, Mark Baines. All right. I want him to sign up for corporate algorithm. I don't want him to sign up for, um, you know, IFO. Let's, uh, I'm going to go here, clipboard history. I'm going to get him a corporate algorithm. You see, hit the space bar, bam. I'm going to delete the actual one. I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't have to, I mean, I'll show you. You don't have to delete the other one. You know, I really hate the fact that there, there's that extra step that I have to hit the space bar, but I mean, I'm still saving a lot of time just by having this like this. So, you know, now let's say, um, oh, let me go to regulars. Let's go to uh, Martell. Let's see. I want Martell to sign up for Hood X. Right click. Clipboard history. Check out my site. Boom. I want him on Hood X. See? So, I just shared three different, completely different links on three different pages just by having this powerful tool 
So I know some of you are already sitting in your chair like, oh my God, this is the worst side. And you put like 300 different, you know, links in here. So you work with your notepad. So you, you know, like it doesn't have to necessarily be links. Like say I just wanted all of my emails. So this is my whole email list. You know, I copy all these guys. You know, oh, oh I got to do it again. This, this, this is just one email list. Copy them. You know, I can go to my clipboard history. See, these are all of those guys. I can favorite that. You know, so if I'm on, let's go to my site on corporate algorithm. You know, and I want to, um, let's say I want to, all right, I can go over here. All right, let's say I want to email this page. Come on, load, load, load. All right. Let's say I want to email this page. I'm going to do it from here. Email this, right? Okay, screen doesn't want to pop up for whatever reason. Can we do it on here? Can't do it there either. Looks like my shareaholics isn't working today for whatever reason. All right, we'll do it like this then. <laughs> Let's go to the next. All right, so if I'm on HoodX, for example, and I want to invite, right? I want to invite all those people on that list right over. Right, so I want to do an email. Send to, who do I want to send it to? Right click, share all, oh, look at that. Bubblam, that's everybody right there. You see, so I can send this invite. And then I can go right here. Here's my other message. Check out my website and tell me what you think. And send invitations. Boom, done for the day. So you see how that works, right? So the clipboard history is the lick, as you can see. Now I can change my options here. You see, I can do. The way I got here, I just clicked here, and then I went to here, which brought me here. So I can do maximum number of store items up to 300 items. I think you can do more, maybe less than that. Don't save longer than, I mean, you see. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm lazy. If you want to donate to them, you know, I donated five bucks. I thought it was a great product. I hope you would do the same. Um, yeah, so this is the clipboard history tool now they have other different types of clipboard managers you do your own research as I always suggest in every one of my videos you know if you don't like this one just go to Google and type in clipboard manager clipboard history and they have all different types of clipboard uh, five best clipboard managers. look at that bam life hackers you know read this article and, and just see what type of clipboard managers work better with you because you need to be the reason I love this one is because you're able to paste multiple um, you know, I can right click and paste multiple and choose from multiple links. Uh, where is it? I, you know, I've showed you five times already. You get the point. But yeah, ClipX. Well, go back. I don't get out of here. ClipX was a. Uh, come on with the ad. Jesus, I hate that. All right, yeah, I've heard ClipX. This one's supposed to be really good. I never used it, but you know, it's free. Here's some other ones: CLCL, ClipMate, Ditto. These are the rankings. Different clipboard managers. So, you, you, like, if you don't like this one, you try other ones, you know, do some research. But Clipboard Manager, you see why you need this. Obviously, I'm sure you see by now why you need this. So, um, obviously, it's your boy, Alfonso Thomas. It's Corporate Algorithm. Like me on Facebook. Like me on Twitter, at Corporate Algorithm. Um, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. If you find anything you can add on to this video, I'd love to hear it. Peace.